Hey, how's it going guys? My name is James Pena and welcome to my channel. This channel was created to teach you the tips and subtleties on certain pieces of sleight of hand. Except today, it's not sleight of hand. Today we're going to be going over the revolutionary cut. Uh, a little bit of card history. Uh, I figured I'd make a follow-up on the uh, Charlier cut or the one-handed cut um, to a little bit something more advanced. Just so maybe you're one step ahead of, um, you know, the other magicians that it just kind of stick to one-handed cut, which, you know, there's nothing wrong with that. But maybe you just want to improve your dexterity, and this is one way to go about it, just learning some basic cardistry. Basic cardistry kind of just improves your performance. Um, so when you're kind of performing magic to laymen, they'll see that you know exactly what you're doing with a deck of cards. Except the revolutionary cut is not just meant for cardistry. It almost ties into the uh, Charlier cup. If you watch my previous video, which I'll leave somewhere up here, the effects that you use in the one-handed cup from the previous video, you can actually apply it here to the revolutionary cup. So learn how to do the rev cut, then go ahead and watch my Charlier cut, and you'll know both aspects of both videos. So enough of me talking, and let's get straight into the video. So for today, we are going to need a deck of cards. Today we're going to be using the uh, rare bit playing cards. Look like this. Here is the uh, the back of them. There's uh, two versions. There's this uh, copper version and there's a gold version. I actually kind of like the copper version more. And uh, here are the uh, the playing cards. Little rabbits. Stuff like that. Custom, uh, custom jokers. And uh, yeah, there you go. Quick uh, deck review. Before I get started to that, uh, before I get started into uh, today's video, I just want to let you, the viewers, know that I do plan on uh, doing other videos than just card magic. But I kind of want to get over all the basics of card magic first before I start getting into you know uh, more in depth coins and like impromptu and like mentalism and all that good jazz. Um, but I just want to uh, cover the foundations of card magic because card magic kind of eventually leads you into other types of magic. And I know I'm talking about magic and I know, I know I'm teaching a, a bit of a flourishy cardistry uh, move, but it is uh, very helpful to have dexterity in your fingers. So once you do like DPSs and stuff like that, you're a little bit more fluid to do them, if that makes sense. Or like if you're just gonna like execute the pass, right? It makes your fingers a little bit more, I don't know, more easier to execute difficult moves. So it's good to learn a little bit of cardistry. So enough of me uh, ranting. Now let's get into the tutorial. I'm going to leave a link in the uh, description of the uh, one handed cut, which I highly recommend you should watch before doing this one. Because if you know how to do this, uh, the one handed cut, it, it I promise you it's going to make the revolutionary cut a lot easier. So if you're just trying to do the revolutionary cut, I promise you, you are going to have a hard time. So please, 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 please watch the one-handed cut video, then come back here and watch this one. So to get started, it's uh, exactly like the one-handed cut. It's uh, the straddle grip, a uh, little high straddle grip, I guess. You want to leave a, a little bit of space here. Then with your thumb, you want to apply enough pressure, right? And so it cuts, so like when you let go of this, and the pinky, right, half, about half falls. So when half falls, um, kind of like the one-handed cut where you used your index finger to push up, you are going to switch that index finger for your ring finger. So what I mean by that is you're going to let these two go, right? So you have a little bit more freedom to actually rotate this, uh, this deck. Then you're going to push you're going to make room so this ring finger right here can actually fit through this hole. Because if you don't move it, um, it's not going to fit through there. So move it out of the way, put your ring finger, and then execute the move. Uh, it is extremely hard to do slow, and these are fairly, fairly brand new cards. So they're very, very slippery. Once you let go you want to shoot that ring finger underneath just so you know like where my ring finger is it's like somewhere here but obviously behind so push 
spin these two. You can, uh, it, it literally only takes the thumb and the uh, index finger over here. It literally only takes these two fingers to move the deck that way. So you moved. Now put your ring finger. This is the sketchy part. Then right now, these two fingers are the only two fingers holding anything right now. Like this is let go, this is let go, this is let go. This is literally the only two fingers. So when you rotate them counterclockwise, right? It is going to automatically fall in this area and it'll move this out of its own, uh, move it out of the way on its own. Now, once you've made that full counterclockwise, you're just gonna remove this index finger and then it's going to fall. And you have successfully done the revolutionary cut. You're probably having a hard time, so let me give you some tips. I don't know if you've heard, but in cardistry, when you're learning literally anything, so don't take half, take like half of half off and put it somewhere and only deal with about three quarters. It is going, I don't know if you heard that, but that's uh, all my cards falling. So I will uh, pick that up when I'm done with this tutorial. They're like everywhere. Anyway, uh, this it makes this a lot easier, a lot smoother. You can do just about any type of cut, pretty free flowing with three quarters of the deck. That one quarter that's gone makes a huge difference. So try practicing with just three quarters of the deck. Get about half, get, put that ring finger in there and then rotate and you're good. Um, moving on to the uh, next tip. One little tip, actually no, I'm just gonna remove this actually. Uh, give me one second. All right, so one little tip to kind of make uh, your revolutionary cut seem like it's spinning out of control. It's uh, literally one little subtlety and uh, this is what it looks like. So you come here, right? That's what the normal ref cut looks like. But with the with the add a, added little spinniness or, or whatever you call it, let's see if I could actually try to do it. It's a, it's a very small, subtle difference. It's kind of really hard to do it at this angle. But in essence, it's coming here, pushing up. And then instead of moving forward and putting your ring finger in there, actually come back here, right? As far as you can, then go. Then spin and then come. So it, it's a little, little added spin. So instead of just going straight for it, right? You're coming back here and spinning a little bit more. Yeah, these cards are uh, extremely new. Um, let me pick that up. All right, so literally as I was picking up uh, the cards that fell over here, the cards I put out to the side fell as well. Um, but yeah, uh, if you're a starting magician, definitely get used to 50 card pickup, 52 part card pickup. Jeez, I can't talk today. Well, again, quick overview, just one last time. I'm gonna do it with the full deck. Just half, let fall. Ring finger, push, make a hole. Then these two fingers go counterclockwise and shut. And um, there is magic purposes that you can use like for controls and stuff like that for the uh, revolutionary cut. If you just watch my one-handed cut video, it's, it's literally the same thing. Uh, but yeah, so uh, let's get to the outro. So if you are new to my channel and you like kind of the content that I'm delivering, although today was cardistry, um, I do mainly teach magic. So if it's something that you're into, then please hit subscribe. I try to post every Friday. I do the best I can. I do have a busy schedule. I do have a job outside of YouTube, but I always try to put in that effort to try to upload videos for you guys. If you are a returning video, then you know, as I always say, if you actually like today's video, then please consider hitting like the like button. It helps me out. If there's, if you want to hit that dislike button, then you know, by all means, go ahead. But at least leave in the comments below on how I can make this video a little bit better so I can make your viewing experience just a little bit better. And I know not to make, you know, those same mistakes. But if you did like today's video, uh, comment what I did that like that you like so I can continue doing it 
and I don't have to change it. And if, uh, if you are subscribed to the channel, then uh, don't forget to hit the notification bell so you can get those updates on when I post my video. Last but not least, if there's something you want to see or, you know, there's something I didn't teach well and, you, you know, you kind of just need a little bit more in-depth explanation on how to do uh, any tutorial, really, um, you, you can go on any of my videos and comment any of this. But if there's just something you want to learn a little bit more in-depth, in then go ahead and comment. I, the moment I get the notification on my phone, I immediately reply as soon as I can. And I will always give my very best to give you a better explanation than what I did in my video. So enough of me rambling. I will see you in next week's video. Peace.